I have two dead friends, and I wear all their clothes, and and like these are my dead friend Brad's sunglasses. I have my dead friend Jack's watch, but all these two friends my age had just killed themselves. Kind of made me want to just do what I want to do before I feel that way, you know. So um, you know, it's just backed up into like a dead end life. So I just sold the house and moved into a camper, and I don't even know the next step until something happens, like. Because these two two guys that died, I was in charge of emptying their belongings, like getting rid of their clothes, getting rid of their photographs, getting rid of all that. And I thought, I don't want anybody to have to get rid of my stuff. So I got rid of it all myself before. So now if I die, I don't have nothing to give out, you know. They could just push the trailer in the river and it would all be over. <laughs> and where are our clouds at now? 32 I think that idea is totally true that you know you are taking something away from a person every time you well stealing the soul is probably kind of an overstatement but for one thing you're losing that time you know when you're actually making a photograph so you cease exist during that time period the shutter goes off you have to be able to part with anything at any time. I mean, I'd be in Central America. I'd be a Honduran pirate right now if I didn't have a dog. I need to be out there. There's so much of the world. I want to go to Iceland. And what did I just hear? Um, they found 2,000 more gorillas somewhere in Africa. I want to go all over and see all that stuff, you know. You can't do it with the dog. <laughs>